take five. Hi, everybody. It's Gayla with Hope Stone, and we're back for another take five. Today, I'm going to teach you five different ways to deep breathe. Let's just get right to it. Sit up straight. The first way we're going to breathe is basically called hands on your heart breathing. We're going to do the controlled breath. Just so you remember, the controlled breath is breathing in through your nose and breathing out through your mouth like a straw. All five breaths I'm going to teach you today involve controlled breathing. Here we go. So sit up tall and remember, you can close your eyes if you want to, but you don't have to close your eyes. If you decide not to close your eyes, just keep your eyes looking down so you don't get distracted by what's going on in the room. All right, sit up straight. The first breath we're going to do is hands on your heart breathing. Both hands on your heart. Breathe in through your nose. Here we go. Breathe out like you're breathing through a straw. One more time. Breathe in. Breathe out. Don't forget, when you breathe out, we want all the air to come out of your lungs. That's the magic. That's the magic of exhaling. When you exhale all the way out and there's no more air left, that's when your brain gets the message to calm down. So make sure that that exhale is all the way out. Don't push it. Don't go and push the exhale out. Relax the exhale and let it come out all the way. Let's do the next one. The next breath is hands on your belly. Super easy. One hand on top, both hands on your belly. When you inhale, I want you to almost imagine that you're breathing from your belly. We're going to do two breaths. Controlled breathing. Here we go. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Again, when you're doing belly breath, make sure when you exhale that all the air goes out of your body. Okay, breath number three, campfire breathing. This one's kind of silly, but it is very, very, very impactful. Here we go. Still doing controlled breathing, breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth like a straw. Breathe in and breathe out. Now when we breathe out on campfire breathing, I want you to kind of like stretch out your fingers because you you're on the computer a lot so we really want you to stretch out those fingers okay let's try that one one more time breathe in all the way breathe out control it one more time breathe in breathe out good our next breath is called square in the air breathing. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna point right in front of you and we're gonna make a square in the air. We're gonna make a square in the air. To breathe in through our nose, breathe in. Now hold your breath. Now breathe out slow. Now hold your breath. Did you see how we made a square right there? So we breathe in on the side, we hold across the top, we breathe out on the side, and we hold across the bottom. Let's do two of those. Here we go, sit up tall, point in front of you. Here we go, breathe in, and hold. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. That was called square in the air breathing. Our fifth breath is called mindful listening breath. It starts out just like campfire breathing. 
rub your hands together, and as soon as they start getting warm, that's when you take your inhale. So here we go, inhale, and then hands over your ears, exhale. Now, if your hands are really cupped over your ears, you should be able to hear your lungs emptying the air. Let's try it again. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more time. Breathe in. Breathe out. Great. You just learned five different ways to practice controlled breathing. And guess what? You don't need me or Hope Stone to remind you to breathe. You can actually do it on your own. And the best time to do it is when you're stressed out, when life is giving you problems, when you're frustrated, when you have anxiety, when somebody's bothering you. Take your controlled breath. And when you do that, you take control over your brain because a calm breath means a calm brain. Don't forget to practice. See you next time.